uh, like you said, uh, those are some great presentations. Uh, Shamza and Jeremy, great job. Um, that's a really tough act to follow here, so I'll just do my best. And uh, I'll start this off with a quick poll. Do you prefer to use the HPCC systems through the command line interface or the graphical user interface? And a little bit more about me. Um, my name's Greg Panagiotatos, and yes, that's how I pronounce it. I've been with LexisNexis since 2001. I've been with HPCC Systems since we went open source in 2010. I'm on the core platform development team, and I'm doing the documentation, um, developing the documentation. And lately, as Jessica let you know, I've been working on this uh, developer video series of short videos that I've been making, um, and that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit today here. Um, so why videos? Well, um, kind of the new normal, isn't it? So I've been hearing that a lot lately. Um, you know, when I needed to find where the battery is in my Prius, it should be pretty easy because, I mean, the thing is basically a big battery. Um, you know, it, it wasn't under the hood, so, um, you know, where's the battery? Or if I needed to repair a leaky faucet or, you know, maybe make a recipe for some exciting sauce, or, you know, even if I just want to know how to query a data set, you know, or just turn to the Internet, right? Search the Internet. It's because my Encyclopedia Britannica is uh, not available. And, uh, you know, when I go to the Internet, you know, you do a search and you get a whole bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of links to references and stuff and, you know, a lot of stuff to sort through there. You know, some folks have a, attention span challenges and, you know, they're, you know, the, the Internet's evolved, you know, so now we can just say, hey, Siri, or hey, Google, or okay, Google, when typing G-O-O-G-L-E, you know, just would take way too much time. And, you know, like I said, the time is money, right? So, yeah, you know, when you bring back a whole bunch of, uh, you know, results from your search, it's like, oh, am I going to read through all this? Or, oh, wait, there's a video there, the YouTube video. Again, it's kind of the the docs for the new generation, you know, that's, that's the one we're going to link. That's, we're going <laughs> to check that out. Um, so, you know, again, so pretty good idea to get some of our stuff out there on, on videos and not to say that we don't have videos because HPCC systems, we do have a lot of videos and I want to just take a second here and shout out to uh, Bob Foreman who uh, usually does a lot of these uh, tips and tricks sec sections here and uh, just, my respect for Bob having doing this has just gone up immensely. Uh, but he's got some great videos that he's put together for the training along with maybe Richard Taylor. Uh, they put out some videos for training and learning videos. Uh, we also have uh, great, complete and thorough and very stimulating documentation. Um, we've got forums, blogs, white papers, all sorts of information out there. Uh, most of it can be found on hpccsystems.com. Um, there's also, I think, uh, I think it's training, hpccsystems.com. And we've got other stuff out there as well, like uh, we've got our YouTube channel. Um, so my goal with doing these videos, these short videos, was not to replace any of the documentation, but it was to, um, you know, supplement it, um, add some, some interesting material. So then I'm thinking about, Okay, well, what sort of topics would be of interest uh, to the general audience? And I'm um, trying to think about some things that, that we might get some value out of. Um, you know, maybe there's some repetitive tasks that need to get done over and over. Maybe somebody's taking a lot of time doing some kind of system maintenance, uh, cleaning things up. Um, you know, so these might be good ideas to, to send her a video or a video series around. And that's where I came up with, um, you know, thinking about, doing things on the command line interface. Uh, there might be one little area there where uh, we, we might be able to use some, some little examples or some additional information. So, yeah, thinking about the command line, and uh, an old dinosaur like me who, uh, you know, command line is old-fashioned and a little bit awkward. And, uh, you know, when you enter something on a command line, you have to be absolutely perfect, right? You can't, uh, you got to have your, your slashes, your backslashes. Is it two dashes, one dash? and and you know what happens if you make one little mistake on the command line, uh, the whole thing doesn't work. So, you know, there's, there's, there's pluses to it, and then the pluses are that it's an actual full-featured interface, and it's, uh, it's 
powerful because it's scriptable. Uh, you can you can have your uh, advanced um, advanced or experienced users actually write the scripts, and they wouldn't have to be the ones to execute them. You can have scripts get executed by uh, less senior people or and the one good thing about that is your process and your procedures are consistently followed, right? And, you know, once written and tested, a script is considerably less error prone than manually entering things on the command line. And, of course, I emphasize testing because you wouldn't want to unleash any scripts that haven't been tested because, um, well, that just wouldn't be very, very helpful. So that brought me to uh, my first little short developer video which was uh, publishing and listing uh, Roxy queries. Um, I wanted to um, make it like short, concise, demonstrate the usage of command line, show the syntax, give a little example. Um, it turned out okay. It was a you know, short video, like I said, for the, um, the attention span challenged out there. It's, um, it's also available, uh, like Jessica said, on our YouTube channel. We've got a YouTube channel on... Um, for HPCC systems, but if you don't have the attention span to wade through all the wonderful content out there, there's the URL directly for that, um, that video there. And after I got that one out there, I started thinking about, okay, well, how could I do another one? What would another interesting topic be? And I was thinking about, you know, good systems administrators are kind of lazy systems administrators in a good way, though, you know, if a system admin has to type in something twice, that's usually one time too many. So if there's a way to script it, well, you know, that's going to be the way to go. So likewise, uh, with, our, with our command line interface, there are certain parameters that you have to enter every time, like uh, the, the server name. So that's why I thought, okay, that might be a good topic for my second video. I was discussing the... Um, the ECL INI, where we can embed certain values into the INI, and you won't have to type them on the command line. Again, I was made a short video, and uh, it was pretty, pretty short to the point. And um, there it is. There's the URL for it. It's also available, like I said before, and many times on our YouTube channel. And um, well, that was the, the third one. The third one that came out was the... Um, a little bit more ambitious. I want to have something a little bit, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more useful, a little bit uh, something that was completely out of my comfort zone anyways for me. And uh, just like the topic of our last conference where we were challenging ourselves and challenging the status quo, I, I challenged myself to come up with uh, something a little bit more, more useful or a little bit different, but also tying into our theme. And um, along the way, I found out that, you know, not only making these little videos, but learning different things was, was a lot of fun. So um, hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy some of these videos as much as I did making them. Um, the third video was on the, um, uh, on the package maps and updating, uh, updating data using package maps on HPCC systems. Um, there's the URL for it. And... Like I said, it's available on the um, on the YouTube channel. All right, and the fourth video. Well, see, I had to. Um, I kind of this is a work in progress. The fourth video. I'm still um, I'm still building on these videos, and I'm still planning on putting some out. Um, and you know, I'm looking to tie it all together. And like I said, I was working on another one. It just uh, wasn't ready in time for this presentation. But that's a good thing, really, because I was looking, you know, to, to build on the, the command line videos that I was doing. And I was thinking of, um, well, this is a good opportunity for everyone out there to, um, you know, if there's something you might want to see, um, something that, uh, you know, that, that could, um, doesn't have to be about the command line interface. It could be about something else that you might like to see. And that leads me to the next big question. What would you like to see? Um, are there any repetitive tasks or something like that that maybe you're having to do that, that could be a good topic for a video? Um, you know, we're going to have some question and answer at, at the end of this uh, presentation here, so you know, that would be a good time to make some suggestions. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to make every, vi every you know, video for just because I, someone suggested it, but I will take it into consideration because a lot of, uh, a lot of this is 
you know, sitting around and trying to figure out, okay, what would somebody actually be interested in watching? So who knows? You know, my next video might just be the one you asked for. But please, don't ask me to make a video about jump-starting the Prius, because I still haven't figured that one out yet. All right. And um, so my closing poll here is, you think you could benefit from using the command line interface and scripting your own repetitive tasks? All right. Thank you so much, Greg. And, you know, this is, these are really important videos. You know, about a year ago, we did some customer research. And one of the things that came back was that people like these short videos. I mean, they certainly love the long and in-depth training. I mean, there's certainly, that's critical. Um, but there's a place for this. And this is one of the very specific requests. So we, um, we really appreciate you doing some of these, Greg. I know Alan Robel also does some. We've been taking our Tech Talk small videos. But finding these specific use cases and making these videos is important for our community. And so I, I know Trish and I certainly thank you for that. All right. So um, while you take a peek at the questions that have come in, and there certainly is it's still some time to send in questions, um, the question from your poll was, do you prefer to use HPCC systems through a command line interface, CLI, or a graphical user interface, the GUI? So 21% said the CLI and 78% said the GUI. So that's, that's hmm. awesome. Yeah, how about that? All right, let's go to the questions. Are you ready for questions, Greg? I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you want to publish a lot of queries to Roxy, would you recommend the CLI or the GUI? Is there a video showing how to script a query published and data? Well, that's a great question. Thank you, whoever asked that. Um, well, the whole purpose of my doing these was to show how that you could use the command line to script a bunch of things. And when you have a lot of Roxy, uh, Public, when you want to publish a lot of queries to Roxy, yeah, I would recommend the, the, the command line. And uh, though there isn't a video on how to do that just yet, that might be influencing my next video that will be out soon, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It looks like we have another recommendation for you, Greg. It says, those videos are great. I'd really like to see some videos tied into the first presentation where you take some of the common issues shown in the work you've analyzed, working at Analyzer, and show how to solve the more common ones, and even some of the more obscure ones. Hmm. When you wow. use local join over lookup, distribution tips tied into the great blogs that already exist. Oh, great suggestion. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. I'm going to probably have to get Shamser to help me out with that a little bit, but um, definitely uh, worth worth considering. Yeah, that suggestion alone should keep us busy for a long time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, here's a question that I can actually answer, which is very rare in these. <laughs> Do you have any HPCC videos on other media such as TikTok? Well, we don't we don't use TikTok. Um, I think most of our videos reside on YouTube. Uh, of course, we have our Bright Talk channel, which is not quite the same. Trish, am I missing? Not to call you out, but am I missing anything? Do we have videos anywhere else besides YouTube? Nope. We try to keep them all in a central location. So you, our YouTube channel is, is the first place to look at. Perfect. All right, wonderful. Yeah, and even these tech talks, we uh, chop them down into um, small sections. You can search by topic, and you can see all of those also out on YouTube. So, all right, hey, this is the first one in 34 issues, uh, editions that I've been able to answer. How about that? All right, um, Greg, here's another question for you. What are some tasks that could be automated with a CLI? Um, well, yeah, uh, a couple of them that we went over in the presentation was, um, you know, we can you can publish and you can uh, activate your Roxy queries or actually 
Uh, yeah, you could um, also, um, well, like we said, we can we can update your data on the fly using package maps, like the other video that I did. And um, I'm sure there's more. I'm just drawing a blank <laughs> at, the, at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, there was a couple there, and I'm sure there's more out there. I, mean, I know that um, that uh, our guys use um, use scripts to do a lot of batch stuff to a whole bunch of jobs or I hope I'm not using the bad. Uh, I'm, I'm not answering incorrectly, but I think I'll just leave it to that. <laughs> there's oh, probably right. some more. That, that all right. It looks like there's another suggestion for you, and this is probably about the end of our time, but um, this suggestion is it'd be nice to have videos on maintenance tasks, like cleaning up unreferenced files in the cluster that can be automated via CLI. That's a great, great topic for another video. I thank whoever asked that. All right, awesome. Yeah, it, it, Greg, it looks like there's a lot of interest in your videos, so you're going to have to just wow. keep doing them, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hey, All like right. I said, Thank lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Greg, we really appreciate it. I just having our community contribute things like this is, is fantastic, and you are definitely appreciated.